Hello everyone, and welcome back to more of the Da Vinci Code. Uh, we are back with this game um, that's given me so many problems, and again, I will say now that uh, my good friend Merrick did warn me about this. He warned me massively about this game. He said, don't play it, classic. You don't want to. And me being me, I didn't listen. <laughs> We're now on the next level, though. Finally. Level up! Find anything? The fleur de lis. What does it mean? It could mean your grandfather was more important than you know. Look at the writing. Yeah? Contre Hoxo. What does it mean? It's an address. It's where we're heading now. What, we're now at the Bank of Zurich? And yes, I'm using a guide. Who's their decorator? Allied Steel? Robert, try not to draw too much attention to us. Fash may have put our names all over the Interpol system by now. Bonsoir. How may I help you? Can I attack this dude? I'm just wondering. Right. I'm going to save it on another save, just in case I do something does go wrong and I can back up my save. Excuse me, but this key... Of course. To get to your viewing room, you must go through the left doorway in the atrium. Your key will give you access. Yeah. There has to be something else to find. To drink badly. <laughs> Pardon me. Mexican for lunch. Fucking hell. It almost seems too easy. Are you trying to jinx us? How would you know? Oh, you don't need to know. Okay. Examine the chest. That appeared. Use the terminal again and enter the password. What?
password? Grandfather didn't leave us a password. Are you certain? Well, I stopped opening the mail he would send me after the incident. I don't think he'd send something that sensitive through the mail. Although, maybe he did give us a password. Look at the symbol on the crate. It looks like the Greek letter Phi. The 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. But Phi is also a Greek numeral representing 500. We're still missing something. We need a four-digit number. Doesn't Phi also represent the golden ratio? The golden ratio? It is a mathematical thing, but the most important part is that the Fibonacci sequence conforms to the golden ratio. You've lost me. Gompel used the Fibonacci sequence as the number for a safe where he kept this key. I think he used that there so I would remember it now. So you're saying the Fibonacci sequence relates to Phi being the 21st letter of the alphabet and the numeral 500? Yes. So if 21, 500, and 521 were the first three numbers of a Fibonacci sequence, the next number would be four digits, which is exactly what we need for this password. Uh, that song go? Well, I already know what it is. What is it? A note from Grandpère. My dearest Sophie, you are reading this and I therefore have passed away. I do I hope, hope that we made that up, we made but, if, up. Not, but if not, do not waste time grieving. You have much work to do, and time will be running out. You were always the light I followed. Now, you must be strong and fearless. I know you will not let me down. Do not forget what lies beneath the rose must remain your secret. Mon amour, grandpère. So apparently this is, is what that, we keep at the, the end of the game. No, this is a clip dex. Grandfather probably made this. It's based off a design from Da Vinci's secret codex. How do you open it? Well, this one has five dials and each one has 26 possible letters. The possible permutations may as well be infinite, but more importantly, there's a vinegar glass vial at the center. If you try to force it open, that will crack and dissolve the papyrus message inside. So, you either know the answer or you don't. You've seen this before, I take it. Grandfather used to make these for me. I had to solve them to find my birthday presents. of rosewood my grandfather's favorite you think grandfather already left us a clue in his note he mentioned that what lies beneath the rose must remain our secret sabrosa the romans hung a rose over meetings to indicate the meeting was confidential attendees understood that whatever was said under the rose or sabrosa had to remain a secret now i noticed a small hole in the center of the rose in the box lid the inner lid it's probably false if we can find something small enough to push through the hole, we might find a clue to opening the cliptex. A paper clip, that's perfect.
This is not working. What do I do now? Use the use it on the box until the new find a clue. The password. Maybe I should try again. I don't get it. I haven't found a clue. I don't get it. Okay. This guide, again, is not making much sense because it's fucking not giving me what I want. So I'm really just not understanding what it's, what it's trying to tell me to do. So let's go back to IGN again. Real document. There isn't a document in there. What are you talking about, game? There's not a doc. Grandfather, you. What an ornate box. It's me. A paper clip that's perfect. Would work. Ah. ah. There's something written on the inside of the lid. Not yet the cup when Jesus broke the bread. Not yet the vessel into which he bled. But more than this, a secret most divine, whose hiding, whose hiding place has stood the test of time. So the solution is Grail. There we go. Good evening. I am André Vernet, president of the Bank of Zurich. We don't have much time, so I'll be brief. My friend Desgard informs me that he has alerted Interpol of your presence. The French police are arriving as we speak. Fash is even more determined than I thought. I don't want any authorities to set foot in my bank, nor do my customers. We have enough controversy here over the rights of my clients as it is. I will guide you out of the bank using these earpieces. You will need this security card and truck key. Avoid the bank security. If you get caught, I cannot help you. I will be going to the bank surveillance center to help you out. However, at any time, the authorities may request my attention. During that time, you will be on your own. Stay in this room until I get to the surveillance center. I will tell you when it's clear. I guess we better get ready to leave. Okay, so this, this level clearly isn't very long, so... We should look around for more clues. So... Oh, 
What are you doing? I am missing something here. Not all of the guards know to watch for you yet, but that is about to change. Bonsoir. Do not be seen again, or you will most likely be taken into custody. Understood. The police have initiated a lockdown. You need to get out of that elevator before they can open the doors. Use the emergency exit hatch. It is directly above you. See, why couldn't it be simple like that with the fucking bridge? What, why couldn't it be like that? So having to look aboard, there are dead in here. Uh, it's moving surroundings. It says all the business is definitely trying to take out both guards that are roaming around. Sneak out the moving difficult to take them out. Anyway, you can see them run them later. So I am doing this right, okay. Freeze! Stand right there! Oh. Hey you! Stop! Oh. I'll fight if I have to. Oh well, I guess it was not. What the hell? Leave her alone. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't actually miss a single prompt there. Enough. But I must have failed it. I can and will defend myself. Oh, I've already taken out one, okay. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Nothing of importance here. I hope we catch those two. What kind of people murder an old man in a museum? Who cares what they did? We had better get them out of the bank before the policemen ransack the place. That would put us out of business. Permanently. You must find your way to the system administrator's office. It is the only way out of here now. I must go. The police would like to have a word with me. I need a drink, badly. Ah, oh, I think there is actually quite a lot left of this level. I don't think I'm going to get this all done in one video. Take time soon. Definitely, definitely not going to get it done. No. Not going to happen. Uh, I think I might call it there because I'm feeling rather shit right now. My tummy is not good. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to go and lay down, probably have a sleep. Hopefully a little bit better later. I might do some more later tonight. I don't know at the moment. But that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. I don't mind this level. This level is actually bearable. See you then. Ta-ta for now.